All right, let's take a look at the update and security settings. The first area of this section will let you check for updates. Now, your device will automatically check for updates, and depending on how you have things configured, it can automatically install those updates. Or, if you'd like, you can have it notify you that an update is ready, and then schedule a restart. Usually those restarts will be scheduled for some time very early in the morning, like 3 a.m. If you'd like to temporarily defer upgrades, maybe if you heard about an update that came out to other devices and you learned that it was causing devices to crash or something like that, you may want to defer upgrades temporarily until that gets worked out. Now, if you were a Windows Insider, you will see this section here, which will allow you to enable Windows Insider builds to come out in the future, even though Windows 10 is going to be available in a couple of days here. Even after the final build is out, there are still going to be insider builds with new features added for those insiders. So if you'd like to disable that, you'll have the option to do that there. Windows Defender is Microsoft's malware protection service. Now it's installed on all copies of Windows automatically. It's not the best malware protection out there, but it will automatically prevent you from installing things that it believes to be malware. So if you need to install something that you know is not malware, you can come and temporarily turn this off. Sample submission automatically submits information to Microsoft about malware. Now you can go to the backup section if you want to automatically backup some of your storage folders. The recovery section will help those of you who might be having problems with their PC. Maybe if it's running very slowly or if certain features aren't working as expected, you can go ahead and reset your PC. This will also enable you to enter the BIOS settings or UEFI settings of your device. So many devices will have certain button press configurations that you'll need to use to get into the BIOS or the UEFI settings, but you could actually go into the recovery section here and do an advanced startup and it will automatically bring your device into those settings when you restart it. Activation will enable you to enter a product key for the OS that you're using. So if you're using an invalid copy of Windows and you have purchased it and want to enter the product key, that's where you would enter that. Lastly, there's this for developers section, which will allow you to install applications that are not on the Windows store. Now you'll always be able to install Win32 apps or desktop apps by, for instance, downloading them with your web browser. However, if you are a developer and you're creating an application that you're going to submit to the Windows Store and you want to test it, you'll go ahead and enable the sideload apps or the developer mode so that you can do that. That is it for the update and security settings. Thanks for watching.